Well, good morning, guys. This is a, not a lovely day. This is the last day of April, April 30th. So it's uh, about time we started doing something. You can see I took my uh, starter plants for a little walk this morning. We're going to uh, bring them out and uh, get them acclimated to being out in the sunlight. And I'll leave them out for uh, three or four hours. I've done this for a couple of days now, so they're getting used to it. Uh, the biggest uh, wear, on, wear and tear on them is uh, me moving them around so much, but I think they're getting to like it now. So, uh, like I said, it's about time to start getting these out in the, I got the hoop house up and ready to go. So some of these will be going in the hoop house. And uh, in another few weeks, uh, I'll be able to put some of these directly into the ground. But I got quite a few starters going, and I got a bunch more down uh, down in my uh, grow room downstairs. But these came out just for the day, and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy themselves. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm thinking it's about time to start my uh, um, organic... Uh, I would say plant juice, whatever. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to look around the uh, the property here, and uh, I'm going to find some things, some green things that are that are really fast-growing things. I mean, we've just the snow is just barely gone. It's only been gone just a short time. So I'm going to look around and find some things that are fast-growing. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and, and uh, dig them up, and I'm going to make a, uh, a basic, basic, basically a, um, a plant uh, food farm out of these uh, fast-growing plants. So, uh, yeah, I know it's hard for me to talk this morning. It's still early. So, uh, but you can see there's a lot of things happening. Look, there's a... There's some violets right there. And uh, you notice right next to the violet is a, uh, oh, I call it a ground thistle. It's a flat thistle, but look how much that's grown. And uh, you know, it's not, uh, it hasn't been that warm. So I'm gonna use, there's another guy right there. Another ground thistle. So, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go around and gather some of these things, and uh, I'm going to make some kind of a concoction out of it, and I'm going to use that to grow my plants, and uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I haven't done much of this organic type stuff because usually for me it's been dig a hole in the ground, throw some 20-20-20 on it and throw a plant in. But, see there's another uh, ground thistle. And that's been my, uh, you know, plan. That's pretty much the way everybody does it. And then one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and this, you see where this water has been uh, standing in here. There's a lot of, uh, green uh i don't know if that's actually duckweed it may be duckweed but it's a form of algae and uh i'm going to recover some of that because i'm sure i'm sure that is a really fast growing uh hardy um, plant and obviously it grows under the worst of circumstances and uh I don't know if there's anything else. Of course, the dandelions, the tried and true dandelions. Um, I don't know if I get any to show you right here, but you know what dandelions look like. But anyway, I'm going to gather up a bunch of these things. I'm going to throw them in a bucket and uh, I'm going to make a plant concoction. Oh, I see some flowers out there. Um, very nice. Okay, uh, st stick with me, and uh, I'll see you how we go, how this goes. Well, you can see it. I've got a pretty good collection of uh, of this, uh, what I call this ground thistle. Didn't take me too long to 
get a bunch of that. And also what I've got growing wild out here is, I think this is wild lamb's ear. And uh, I, I might put a little, incorporate that into the mix a little bit. But I'm going to try transplanting some of them into my uh, flower garden and see if I can, uh, see if I can get that to propagate. So, uh, but anyway, now back to my uh, original idea about the uh, about the algae and stuff like that. I uh, I figured I'd uh, see if I can't can't uh, get some of this stuff out of here, and I was at a loss as to how to do it. But anyway, with aid of a couple of hundred feet of extension cords and stuff like this, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. Well, anyway, you get the idea of that. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, muck out what I can of this, and we're going to make up some super solution, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll put that in a bucket uh, with water and let it ferment for uh, oh maybe a month or so, two weeks anyway, until I'm ready to use it in the garden, and uh, and then uh, we'll be all set for uh, the growing season. So. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out here, so thanks for watching. Well, guys, I'm back again. I uh, had to go have a cup of coffee and take a little break after that excursion. But you can see I uh, I went and I gathered some more uh, dandelions. And uh, these are my, uh, well, I, I'm thinking that it's lamb's ear. You can see it looks like a, looks like a lamb's ear. It's, it's all nice and fuzzy. On both sides, uh, I don't know. It may be just a wild swamp weed, but if anybody's got a uh, an identification of that, I would certainly like to hear it. But uh, I think it can be beneficial to what I'm doing in my yard here. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and uh, add all these ingredients together in my bucket. And there's the dandelions and. I got all that thistle in there, and I got the algae, and I'll, I'm just going to use my trusty mixing paddle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all that up and get all the goodness out of it. And then probably what I'll do is I'll just pour it off into that container right there. It's got a lid for it. I'm going to put it in there nice and tight, and... Uh, just let it sit, and it'll probably stink to the high heavens when I take the cover off. But anyway, that's my plan. I'm going to stick to it. Thanks for watching.